The J.J. Watt unretiring rumor mill is back in full force, and it raises the question, could we see J.J. Watt in a Texans uniform again? James Roy here with another bullpen bit, and this time it is about J.J. Watt and the possibility of him putting on the pads again, not only putting on the pads again, but putting them on for the Houston Texans. We're going to answer all the questions surrounding whether or not that's even likely a thing, how he would fit in the Texans scheme, and other questions that may arise. First and foremost, a lot of people seem to be questioning J.J. Watt's fit in the Texans' defensive line room because they're looking at the edge position and they're going, where does J.J. Watt fit in there? And if you're asking that question, I have a question for you, and that is, did you watch J.J. Watt play for the Texans? The reason I ask is because J.J. Watt is an incredibly versatile defensive lineman and his skill set inside might actually be, well, actually, you know, it'll definitely be the more useful thing that he brings to the table when it comes to what he could contribute to this Texans defensive line. If you watched J.J. Watt in his last year with the Cardinals, one of the things that he did that really helped him out and made him look really good, he had a really good last season statistically and performance-wise on the field, was his ability to help crash the inside to allow the edges to get around and wreak havoc in the backfield for the Cardinals. So immediately up front, would J.J. Watt be able to contribute if he decided to come back? I, I'd say yes. I'd say that he would be the one thing that a lot of people are looking for from this defensive line group, because interior-wise, I think a lot of people's hold up, because as a rotation, it's really good, but where's the star power? Who's the starter on the D-line for the Texans? And when you bring in J.J. Watt, I'm not going to say that he's immediately the starter, but he brings that star power, that leadership that a lot of fans, I think, think is lacking from the interior defensive line group. Now, we've talked about fit, but it kind of feels like putting the cart in front of the horse because the biggest question when it comes to J.J. Watt's return is, would he actually do it? J.J. Watt has spoken to his family situation, being able to leave the league healthy and on top. I mean, he did have a really good season, like I said, as his last season with the Cardinals. And so why would he put all that behind to put on the uniform one last time? Well, in case you didn't know, one of the things that sparked this rumor mill was him saying that he has told D'Amico if he really needs him to call him and that this is the last season he's going to train at the level that you would expect the defensive lineman to train at. And this is the last season that he'll likely be ready to answer that call. Now, D'Amico also said, I need him now. I, and, and I don't think he meant like, I'm going to call him tomorrow and J.J. Watt's going to be a Texan. But I think D'Amico understands what J.J. Watt, even right now at the age of 35, having been removed from football for a year or two, could bring to this Texans defensive line if he decided to put on the pads and play again. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't think it's incredibly likely just based off of the precedent that's been set. J.J. Watt has has set gasoline to the sparks of these rumors a couple of times since he left the league, since he retired. And so I don't have any reason to believe that that's changed. This is probably just talk for the sake of talking. But I will say that this time around, it being reciprocated by D'Amico could mean a little bit more than it has in the past. So of all the times that it's been said, you know, if, if the team had legitimate playoff chances and they needed a guy and all this stuff that J.J. Watt says on the Pat McAfee show and, and all this show that he puts on, this is, I think, gives a little more credence to the rumors than it has in the past. Other times it kind of felt like he was just, you know, on the national stage saying it. This was at a, a presser with the local media for his softball classic, and it was reciprocated by D'Amico. So I would say I think I'm slightly higher on the chances of him maybe playing another down for the Texans, but overall I'm still pretty low on that as a whole. Now for the questions that don't have to do with on the field play or J.J. Watt's desires. First and foremost, he's in the ring of honor. How does that look? It would be the first time in Texans history that a player that's in the ring of honor has suited up. Granted, the only other opportunity would have been Andre Johnson, who I think was a lot further past his time to be able to play um, at the point that he was inducted. Whereas JJ, they were very quick to get him in the ring of honor. So I'd be interested to see. I don't think it really changes anything. I mean, I think he's still 
they're not going to remove him from the Ring of Honor because he played. It's not it's not that serious, but it is something worth talking about. Another thing to consider, speaking of jackets and such, is that J.J. Watt is likely a first ballot Hall of Famer, and he's two years into that clock. So in three years, he could be in the same Hall of Fame class as Tom Brady. Uh, so by putting the, the suit back on, getting back out there, putting the pads on, um, he does reset that clock. So I don't know. I don't think he's considering that. I don't think that's a huge part of his decision-making process, but I mean, it is some, well, once again, it's just something to talk about. A couple of observations, not necessarily questions, but one, I mean, could the NFL script writers write a better script? I bet they're watching this whole thing unfold and being like, dang, that would have been really cool if we had written that into the script. But on top of that, I mean, just the story, like the way I see it, right? I, I don't see the Texans bringing J.J. Watt back like before the playoffs. The way I, I could see this unfolding is J.J.'s getting ready to to call, you know, hang it up, really cut back on his on his conditioning and stuff. It's the playoffs. The Texans are in like the they've made the AFC championship game for the first time, or maybe they just finished it. And the, the D-line's banged up, and D'Amico hits up JJ and says, hey, you got one more in you? Uh, we, we could really use it. And JJ is already at NRG at, at 4 in the morning, getting ready to play in his first and only Super Bowl to try and bring the Super Bowl back to Houston. I... If I'm, you know, as a storyline guy who likes to see the cool storylines unfold, as much as we joke about the script writers and stuff, I think that if I'm writing that, that's that's how I would write it, is him coming back at the last second to help the team out. And, and man, oh, that would be quite, oh. as a Texans fan, looking back at that, I'd be telling my grandchildren about that. That would, I let me just, I'll, I'll leave it at that because that would, that would just be incredible. Speaking of incredible, the Texans just got new uniforms and J.J. Watt never has worn them, obviously, because no one has worn them in a game for the Texans. But can you imagine J.J. Watt suiting up one time? If, if it's in the Super Bowl, like I said earlier, like just make it red. Just go with the alternates. I know that's likely not the case, but to see J.J. Watt in that with the bullhorns on the helmet and just, oh, man. There's so many things about this that would be so great. And that's why it's kind of it's kind of sad. Like I said, I'm not really high on this happening, but there's so much potential for it. Like, I mean, if if I could really tell you, I just from a uniform standpoint, it'd be nice to see him come back in like week 12 so that you could see him in in at least a couple of the uniforms before everything is said and done, but for me, I think the stakes have to be high. Like the Texans need D-line help and it's deep in the playoffs and, you know, who do you turn to uh, besides J.J. Watt, right? I think any time before that, I think it, it, I don't know if it lessens it, but it'd just be, it'd be different, you know? How would you feel about a possible return of J.J. Watt to the Texans? Do you think it's a great idea? Are you still hesitant? Do you think it's just fan service? What would his role be? Or how do you, just sound off in the comments about how you feel in general about the possibility of J.J. Watt putting on a Texans uniform again. I have been James Roy, and this has been a bullpen bit about J.J. Watt and the possibility of his return to the Texans. If you want to find me on social media, that has recently changed. I have changed my handles to at James Roy NFL. That's where you can find me at. If you're on Instagram, you can still find me at M1 Texans fan, but you can also find me at James Roy NFL if you want more general NFL content. Thanks for tuning in. As always, stay classy, Houston, and vamos Texans. Thanks for tuning in to The Bullpen, a Texans podcast, part of the Fans First Sports Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow along for more Texans talk from The Bullpen. Pick the hand up. Stroud.